noticed in the comments that a few of you were asking how we managed to get such colourful images for the storytelling sections in Toy Story on the Sega Genesis. As Toy Story was a revolutionary movie at the time, we felt it was really important to represent the amazing imagery of the film as clearly as possible in the game. So to do that we needed to find a solution to provide as many colours as possible for each image. The hardware standard seemed to suggest that you could display 64 colours from a choice of 512, but in fact a special mode allows the use of a highlight and shadow which changes the range of colours available. I'll try and explain. These are the standard shades of red that can be displayed. Each one has a number associated with it which represents its brightness. The same goes for the green and blue as for the red seen here. Eight shades of red and green and blue mixed together gives the 512 possible colours. Now, the shadow mode allows these values to be divided by two, giving the following shades. And the highlight mode takes the shadow values and adds seven to each, giving these shades. There are some duplicates on each side, but we end up with 15 unique shades. 15 unique shades of red, green and blue gives 3,375 possible colours to pick from. Much better. However, you are only allowed 4 palettes of 16 colours on screen at any given time. So although the number of colours to pick from is much greater, you are still limited to just 64 of these. Or are you? The trick is to pick a palette with colours that are in the mid-range, and when highlight or shadow are used, they don't generate any duplicate colours. So from one 16 colour palette, you can get 48 unique colours. By using a sprite, you can cut holes where you want to see the colours normally, highlighted or shadowed, so you can precisely control which colours get affected and by what. So then all we do is layer everything on top of each other. So the background layer goes first, it has 15 colours, that with shadow and highlight becomes 45 colours. The reason it's 15, not 16 colours, is we use one colour from each palette to cut holes, if needed, to the lower layer. The foreground layer adds another 45, as does the first layer of sprites. The last layer of sprites loses two more of its colours to provide the shadow and highlight modes. So this gives us 148 colours on screen at once, from a total of 3,375. So here's the background layer for one of the images. Here's the foreground layer. And finally the sprite layer. So the background layer goes first, then the foreground, and finally the sprites, giving us our pretty nice rendition of the movie stills. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Coding Secrets, and if so, please subscribe or let me know in the comments.